You're out at your local bar. You may play a game of pool, bocce ball, or darts, but they're kind of out now. You know what's what the new trend is? Axe throwing bars where what? you can throw what? back a few drinks and throw an axe with friends. So we were we were very Ooh, curious bullseye. about how this works. And She's, Carly she is good. has actually She's tried it a few times now. She joins us via Skype from Dallas, Texas. Carly. First question, um, what made you decide to try this out? I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie, and um, I was tired of the escape rooms. Those get a little boring, so um, I saw the axe throwing when we were on a vacation, and I thought, oh, well, why not? <laughs> was that yeah. you in those pictures doing the two-hand? Uh, yeah, so wow. really, it's a funny... Wow, you've got some skill there, <laughs> young lady. Wow. The, t the two hand did not end up in a bullseye. I have mastered the bullseye. I've been about three times now. So um, the first time it was really awesome. They were really hands on. I, I actually walked in nervous because we had a beer at lunch and I thought they're gonna smell the alcohol in my breath. They might stop us from throwing. I didn't know that you could BYOB. So we show up and there are groups of guys on bachelor parties and they've got their 30 case and we're, we're throwing right next to them. So Which people are literally partying while they're throwing axes. It seems unsafe, that's just me. Yeah, yeah. It was surprising to see all the beer everywhere, but that was very organized and safe. We had um, an instructor with us the entire time. He was very knowledgeable. He taught us exactly how to throw. Uh, that was a great experience. The second and third time I went was not so hands-on. Uh, we There's a brewery in the exact parking lot. I mean, it's a brewery and an axe throwing business in the same parking lot. Um, and so sure enough, we went to the brewery first, brought our own to-go beers to the um, axe throwing, and they hand you your axes. They say, here's your lane and have fun. <laughs> so. Wait. Wait a minute. I mean, I, I have so many questions. So first of all, <laughs> sometimes if you go with, with a big group, I'm told that there might not be dividers, so it's up to you to make sure you're not throwing your ax when someone else is going to get theirs. Is that true? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, I, I took a bunch of video, but there's certainly one where my friend threw it. It bounced back so hard that he reacted to catch it. I mean, he, he, his hand was about to catch the ax spinning back at him and then he remembered not to last second. I was hoping when you came on, Carly, you were going to tell me that much like at a shooting range, there, there's monitors, everyone's making sure that people are being safe with their weapon, because make no mistake, people, this, yeah. this is a deadly weapon. And I am absolutely shocked that it's so blase. I, I think it would be, fun, I think it would be a bit of an adrenaline rush, and I actually really appreciate that element. But the one thing I will say in my own life is I'm an adrenaline junkie too, but I don't do adrenaline-fueled activities when I'm drinking. Right. And, and that's where my issue is, not, yep. not the axe throwing, but the combination. I, I, I don't care how, how safe you try to be and how much monitoring, I mean, it's a dangerous activity. There's always a chance that exactly. something that the axe is going to bounce back, that somebody's going to be picking up their axe, that the top of that axe flies off. I mean, too many things too can many go things. wrong. I agree. And, you know, in some instances, people drinking alcohol can't even really trust themselves with their, their cell phones. They can't trust that they won't text their ex, like, all of their emotions and feelings. So I, you really shouldn't be trusting yourself with an axe. I get nervous if, if I'm out somewhere and people are playing darts and you can tell that someone's really schnockered, even the little dart and they're like, hey. like, whoa, that's close to my eye there, buddy. Easy, easy. I can't imagine. <laughs> Bear me. <laughs> <laughs> Takeaway is do this at your own risk.